behind me. Yep. It's just me. It's perfect. I'm in the box. I'm in the box. Yep. I'm vlogging. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Marie. Welcome back to my channel. I post about my animals, my art, about hedgehogs, and today is one of those videos. I'm going to be doing hedgehogs and makeup. I need a theme song, but that's okay. So if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and we're going to go ahead with the video. So today we're going to be talking about hedgehogs and cages. So we're going to be talking about what kind of cages is available to a hedgehog and which ones are the safest, which ones are not so safe. And we're going to break it down in four different categories. So we're going to talk about the cost, the safety, the traveling, and then the cleaning. So we're going to talk about different cages, like the storage bins, the bunny cages, the CNC cages, and then any other things like the uh, Ferret Nation. So we're going to break down those cages in the four subjects that I was talking about earlier. So while I'm talking, I'm going to do my makeup and then we can have a chit chat about everything that you need to know about hedgehog and cages. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera because the last video I didn't do that and it was kind of boring with the whole video just me doing my face and it's not that great. So uh, I'm going to come back and then we're going to start talking about cages. Like opposite raccoon, like you've got like a big like white line. Is normal? I'm baking. Okay. You, you uncultured swine. I found you cool. Alright, I'm back, my face is done, I'm ready to go. So, I'm going to do a tiny little challenge. I'm just going to ask my boyfriend to pick between 1 and 24 while I'm doing my eyes. There's 24 shades in the Jawbreaker palette, so whatever he picks, I'm just going to go by order and then put that as I'm doing my different steps. So I'm going to go ahead and start my eyes now. So I just need your first number for my bra brow bone. All right, so you picked number four for my brow bone, so we're going to go ahead. So that is the shade Wow. Wow. Okay, so we're going to start talking about the safest and the cleanest option, in my opinion, and experience. This has been used with plenty of breeders and is still being used nowadays, and it's the storage bin. You've heard that right, are talking about what you have in your garage, not the one with full color, but the see-through ones. Now, we're going to talk about the four subjects that I was saying earlier. So, how much does it cost? How safe it is? Is it easy to travel with? And how easy is it to clean? For the cost, you're looking at about $20 Canadian. That's nothing. Now, compared to a lot of cages that are about 150 brand new, $20 is great. Now I'm not saying that it's the best because of the price, but because of other pros that comes with that type of cage. They can be found at Walmart, they can be found at Canadian Tire, I, they might be at Target in the States, I know Ikea has them too. So they can be found basically just anywhere. And when it's Christmas time, I'm not sure if they still do them, but Christmas totes or Christmas storage bins are available. Sometimes they come in see-through and they're much bigger than your usual 100 gallons. So either or is fine. You can go a little bigger than 100 gallons. That's not a big deal. We're going to talk about cluster in another video. Uh, that's something that's a very important subject. But for now, we're really concentrating just on the different types of cages. Inner brow bone. Can you give me a number? For the inner corner, we're going to do number 19, which is lemon drop, which is the sparkly yellow. So, not bad. For the safety part of the cage, I would say that it is definitely the safest cage because of the high walls that are completely closed off and they have no bars at all. Jogs are great climbers but they have absolutely no clue how to get down so if they have access to bars they will try to go up 
and they can either get their head stuck in the bars, they can get their feet stuck and they fall off. It's caused death, it's caused issues where they've broken bones or dis dislocated a shoulder or anything like that. So we really don't want that. With the plastic tub, you are safe from all of that. A big part of keeping your hedgehog safe is to make sure they're nice and warm. We don't want them to hibernate. So having a tub will easily keep the heat in, but it will also keep the cool out. Heat lamps can easily be hung above the plastic tubs without melting it. So that way they have a source of heat and they won't be able to get any draft that may be around them. So that will keep them nice and warm. You won't have to worry about hibernation and everyone's happy. So. Okay, for my transition color right above this, I need another number. Number 13. That is... And what? Now let's talk about traveling. So with a tub, it is much easier to travel if you're going on vacation, if you're maybe going to the vet, even though that I do suggest having a pet carrier to bring to the vet. But if you're going on vacation and you like to bring your hedgehog with you, that is one of the easiest cage to carry with you. You can even go ahead, and if it's a small vacation, this will be okay to do for a little bit. You can go ahead and go buy a, let's say, a 65-gallon one, and then it's a little bit smaller, but as long as they have their wheel and their hut, their food and everything else, they're going to be okay for a few days. For the next subject, we're talking about how easy it is to clean. Let's just say I've had all kinds of cages, and I will take 10 tubs over one rabbit cage any day anytime because the sides are very slick and there's no bars there's no grids there's no ridges nothing it is so easy to just spray down and wipe away with let's say just a paper towel that's what we use easier to clean means easier to sanitize it is so important that you do a deep clean from time to time but at the end of the day it is way easier to clean than most cages. So another note about tubs is that you can actually have the lid on, obviously cut out a top part and put chicken wire and that's great for any escape artist. We have two. Um, it happens sometimes they get bored even if they have every single toy and all, all the wheels in the world they will still escape. So as long as they have really good ventilation and a small opening for their wheel, then that will help you with any escape artist. Now this is not necessary, but it is a possibility. And lastly, you can actually connect two tubs together, side by side, not one over the other. We're going to talk about two level cages and ramps and everything else later. So you can actually connect two tubs together using a PVC pipe. Obviously you want to make sure that it's large enough for your hedgehog to be able to go through and not get stuck whatsoever. And low enough that they can actually go in it and then in the next tub. That has been used in the past. People do that all the time. It's a great idea as long as it's done properly, it's glued properly. It's lots of space for the hedgehog and you can actually put one side where they're wheeling and their litter and one side where they're sleeping and eating. So at the end of the day, the storage bin will always be the cage that I recommend to hedgehog lovers, to hedgehog owners or even breeders as in it is the safest and the cleanest, also the easiest to travel with. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start talking about bun cages. I'm just going to put concealer on my lids and we're going to go ahead and pick the lid color. Okay, so you pick number 21. We're going to go check which one it is in a second. So number 21 is Cherry Wet. So we're going to start talking about bunny cages this time. We have the same four subjects, so we're going to start talking about the cost. As we all know, bunny cages can be very expensive, mostly for the size that a hedgehog needs. Um, that is definitely a con to the bunny cage. So you're looking at about $150 for an average, and that's Canadian, for a bunny cage that is big enough. 
Now you can buy them uh, a little cheaper second hand. You would just have to make sure that it is completely cleaned and sanitized before having your hedgehog in the cage. For the safety part of it, there's a few things. Now because it has bars, it's automatically not that safe for hedgehogs. That doesn't mean you can't make it safe. If you really want and prefer the look of a bunny cage, that's okay, but you must have at least 12 inch of full wall so that your hedgehog cannot climb and hurt itself. So usually to cover the bars, you can use plexiglass. That, that is the most popular material to cover bars in this type of cage or any other kind of cages really. Because of how open it is, uh, it is a little harder to keep the heat in. So you will need a lamp that's a little closer without burning the hedgehog obviously. Or that's a little stronger so you can still hang it a little higher above the cage with a stronger bulb. So I usually recommend 50 watts, but that's another, again, another video. For the traveling, it is not easy to travel with a bunny cage. I've done it with other animals that needed a rehoming. It is not great. It doesn't fit in smaller cars. It takes a lot of space. It's just not that great. If you have an RV or if you have anything else like that or maybe a truck with more space then maybe that's a little easier for you guys. But for someone like me that has a simple little car, it is not easy and most times you'll need two people to carry it. For cleaning the cage, it is a little harder than the top because there is ridges at the bottom which can cause some staining. That doesn't mean it is very hard to clean, if anything um, it just takes a couple more minutes. You can always use a spray with water and some vinegar in it and then spray the bottom for extra cleaning. So for the bunny cages, as long as you're ready to do the alterations, it can be a safe cage. By itself, not so much. Um, there's a chance of them climbing, getting their head stuck because bars are pretty wide when it's a bunny cage so there's a good chance that they might try to do that. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start talking about the CNC cages. Okay so for the outer corner we're gonna pick number... It's gonna be number six. Thank you. So let's start talking about CNC cages. Those cages can be created by buying one of those, and I'm going to put a picture down here somewhere. It can be secured with zip ties, it comes with corners. Now you're thinking, well, it's all big squares. How is that safe? Again, alterations. If you want to use that, that's great. It's great to be able to really build the size that you want. You can even add a top and build them side by side. It's great but you will need plexiglass to cover the sides because once again there's some openings that they can climb they can put their heads through I had that for one of my expos and I didn't really think about it and one of the girls was trying to go right through it so not that safe by itself there is some retailers that sell it already done all you have to do is just build it when you get the package they have the bottom that comes with it you can buy that or you can make your own it is completely up to you for the cost for a CNC cage it can be costly depending on how big you're making it price wise it's pretty comparable to bunny cages once you have all the equipment so for one set of those little squares, I think it's about $35 Canadian, and you can make quite a big cage out of it. Um, I would probably suggest about like a 2 by 3 because each square is about 12 inch. So that gives you lots of space for your hedgehog, and then as I said, you can build more cages, you can build it bigger, that will really be up to you. So for the safety, it's a bit like the bunny cage where it needs to be haltered to prevent any harm and 
in some cases death. With the plexiglass, it is one of your safest options. Now, some people are way more handy than me. Um, they can use other things. I wouldn't recommend wood. Um, it does, even if you seal it, it's not really made for hedgehogs because they do pee and poop a lot, so I wouldn't suggest that. Now, for traveling, I guess it just depends if you're okay with bringing everything down. Um, it is definitely not the easiest type of cage to travel with. Uh, if you have a big setup, it will not be easy to move around, so definitely buy yourself a tub to travel with. Cleaning wise, it is not that bad uh, because you have to use something very smooth like plexiglass. It is a lot easier to clean than a body cage. Depending on the size of your cage, you might not be able to move it as easily as a buddy cage or a storage bin or anything like that but it is not that bad to clean and sanitize uh, so that is definitely another option that is probably at the same level as the bunny cage this one is just a bit more if you're a bit more handy uh, then it's definitely a cage for you now we're going to pick the inner corner color 11 Woo! No! Okay, so number 11 is brain free. So it's blue. We're gonna add this to all of this. Not sure what it's gonna do, but we're gonna go from there. Four of the last cages, we're talking about Theret Nation, Critter Nation, anything in that area or that same type of cage. I've seen people use dog kennels. I've seen people use uh, guinea pig cages that are kind of like the CNC cage but I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about. It comes with a bottom and everything. So we're gonna talk about those type of cages. Now obviously any cage can be made to be safe. So we're gonna start with the cost. So the cost for those run between a hundred and sometimes two hundred and fifty dollars if not more this is Canadian I'm not sure about American it is not the safest to start with some of them have two levels and that is usually a big no-no I will not recommend second levels to anyone now at the end of the day people do whatever they want so if you're going to do that then you need to make sure that it is hedgehog proof once again, hedgehogs can climb. They don't see very well. If they're on the second level and there's nothing to stop them from falling, they will and they can hurt themselves. So if you have a fair nation or even a critter nation, some of them have a second level. Either not use it or you have to have the ramp completely closed off and the second level also. So that means at least 12 inches of plexiglass or anything that can be used to close off the ramp. Now again, not worth it, not worth the risk when you can buy a tub for $20 and that is completely safe. Travel wise, obviously those type of cages can't be easily moved or you can't really bring those in the car and travel with them so they're not really that great for that. And then finally, keeping it clean is easy enough. Most times it's a very sleek bottom. With those ones, you're probably looking at making sure that your hedgehog is potty trained or litter trained. Now there is an option of having your hedgehog free roam. There is a lot of free roaming hedgehogs in other countries because that's just how their care is over there. The care for hedgehogs is really different depending of the country and overseas that's a big thing it's having them free roam in a room. Now that's not something I would recommend unless you're really ready to pick up after them. Now that's not something that I would recommend unless you're completely committed to getting everything hedgehog proof and that it's hot enough because it is pretty cold during winter time so that's not something that I really recommend for around Canada at least. Um, if you have a heat source or 
you're able to keep that room at a really good temperature then maybe all right so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna line my eyes i'm gonna try to put my eyelashes on they didn't want to go on this morning so we're gonna hope for the best i'm gonna come back we're gonna just kind of come back on all the subject and then we're gonna finish the video hi i'm back and my face is done so i think i did a pretty good job with the colors that i had it was going well until i got the brain freeze and i tried to put it as much as in the corner as i could but yeah i think but yeah i think that it's pretty good to come back on what i was saying the storage bin is definitely the first on the line it's the safest the cheapest and it's the easiest to travel with also a lot easier to clean guinea pig and the rabbit cages are a definite second they are safe if there's alterations done to them and then everything else same thing alterations need to be done before they're anywhere near safe so remember that there's no need for second levels there's absolutely no need for bars if you have any bars they have to be covered not only is this a recommendation but i would really strongly suggest doing that because you definitely don't want to find your hedgehog with a broken leg or anything dislocated because of the fact they climbed and they got stuck and they fell off or anything like that so with that i'm hoping that it will help you choose a, an appropriate cage for your hedgehog or for your future hedgehog and it's also never too late to change it if you're an owner um, if you prefer the tubs and you're currently using a rabbit cage then go ahead and change um, anything that is safer for your hedgehog is the best obviously so that's it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe it's around here somewhere and you can leave a comment I you can leave me with some ideas for maybe the next makeup look or maybe the next challenge and uh, I will be back with another video uh, for hedgehogs and makeup but until the next time bye now I'm just like, hey, <laughs> come, hey. Here, come here often. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Derp. Excuse me. Derp. That was disgusting. Derp the derp. Did my face on camera. It was kind of boring. <laughs> I'm Batman. That really hurts when I do that at this point. 28. Uh, 54. 45. 